What's going on, guys, and welcome back to GSM4GM Season 3, Episode 39 here today. Skip this scene. I know we're starting um, in a weird spot, and I pressed the wrong button by accident. Uh, not just now, but a moment ago. Because I accidentally started um, after I ran down... Oh, no, no, I started and I recorded, but it was after I ran down the card and shit. You didn't really miss much. Oh, so this is the video that I'll use. Uh, the only thing I ran down was the card for this show, which you'll see when we simulate the matches. But this is Alexa Bliss and Billy Slugger. Both of these women will be involved in the Fatal 4-Way match to crown a new number one contender to the WWE Women's Championship. That being uh, currently held by Roxanne Perez, obviously, who's currently on the shelf injured. When she gets back, she will battle the number one contender. And the last person to beat Roxanne one-on-one -on -one was the uh, woman you see in the ring right now, that being Billy Saleta. Alexa Bliss has been on an undefeated streak. Maybe not undefeated, but uh, she certainly racked up a lot of wins. She beat Becky Lynch last week. Did Alexa Bliss. And she beat uh, Gigi Dolan in a no holds bar match back at SummerSlam. So she's not undefeated because Gigi did beat her at one point uh, you know, prior to SummerSlam. But she's still been on a roll here on SmackDown. So both of these women are kind of in the midst of uh, momentum, you know, riding waves of momentum at the moment. And if they can win at fast lane, they'll be one step closer to becoming the WWE Women's Champion for the first time here on SmackDown. Billy Slugger picking up the biggest win of her career when she beat Roxanne, but can she beat Alexa Bliss here tonight? So like I said, the only thing I cut off in the recording by accident was running down the card for the show. We are in uh, Seattle, Washington today, actually. I just fucked up recording. It's been an exhausting week. Usually is most weeks, but this week more than most. So I apologize for my uh, botch there. But again, you didn't miss anything, so it's not really that big of a deal. Alexa Bliss getting back in the ring. Ooh, okay, she's got Billy. Nice arm drag. She's got her right where she wants her. And she's got her now. Oh, okay. Forearms. Elbows there from Billy Slugger to the stomach of Alexa. More strikes, okay. Billy really taking it to Alexa. Again, Billy's got a lot of momentum right now. She did drop a win to Gigi Dolan last week despite the guidance of Bailey. But uh, she wants to prove herself as someone to keep an eye out for here on SmackDown. She picked up her one and only win against Roxanne Perez, the current champion. But she does not want to be the underdog in the Fatal 4 rematch match coming up at the pay-per-view this coming weekend. She throws Alexa Bliss into the ropes. Oh, okay. All right. Alexa Bliss throwing her against the ropes. Okay, nice leapfrog. Ooh, okay, nice elbow. Very nice. She's got her. God, just fucking going to town on her. Alexa Bliss is a baby face, for the record. Uh, she's been a baby face in signing with SmackDown. I know we had that quick one week, like, roll change. That was an accident. That was not on purpose. Billy now with the suplex. Oh, my God. She's getting plenty of airtime on that one. It's going to crash her right down to the mat, and boom! Very impressive maneuver there from Alexa Bliss. And cover. Just a one count from Billy. She's got Alexa against the ropes. Ooh, nice strike there to the face. Now she's choking her. Oh my god, those vicious strikes from Billy. Kind of uh, backfiring there, Alexa. Reversing the strike. And the cover just getting a one. She probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. Where's she bringing Billy? She's bringing her to the middle of the ring. She can't cover her. She's not weak enough. Throwing her against the ropes. And I forgot to mention in this recording, as I mentioned in the last recording, but I fucked up the recording as I mentioned. Um, we're watching this match because it's the only match in the show this week that does not have interference. We got Batista and Braun Breaker in our main event. CM Punk is involved in that one. We're doing Sheamus and uh, Tyler Bate. Kit Wilson's involved in that one. And we're also doing Becky Lynch and Bailey and Gigi Dolan will play a role in that match as well. So we got a lot of matches going on tonight that all have interference. Nice take down there from Alexa. Uh, leaving this one with the only match that we can watch. 
probably should have realized that before he confirmed booking, but at least it's not as if all these matches of interference. That would not be good. Returning to the ring now. Alexa Bliss getting back Billy in the ring. Ooh, nice clothesline to Billy. She's got that comeback fire. That should keep her hitting the game. Boom. She can end it here. More kicks from Alexa Bliss and the cover. One, two. Oh, kick out at two. Billy wanted to prove that she is no underdog. I mean, she is an underdog, but that she can hang with the top tier talent here on the blue brand. She's already taken Roxanne Perez not only to the limit, but beating her in clean fashion, not by DQ, not by count out. It was a clean pinfall win over the reigning WWE Women's Champion, who just headlined SummerSlam and won back the belt from Bianca Belair, who we all also not seen since SummerSlam due to the injury she sustained in that matchup. Billy going for a forearm, missing, Ooh, and she connects with that one. Gets her up with a bear hug. A bear and and it might be enough to force Alexa Bliss to tap out, but Alexa gets out of it. Uh, we saw this before. Wheel barrel arm drag. And a drop kick from Alexa Bliss. Alexa continues to maintain the advantage. She goes to the top rope and connects with double knees in the back moonsault. Great combo and only gets a rope break. Can't go for the one, even a one count due to the rope break. Alexa Bliss going high risk. Oh, and she misses the twisted Bliss. Billy counters, picks up Alexa Bliss, drags her down with the Dominator. Will this be enough? But Alexa Bliss gets the rope break. A twist of fate there would have been a massive win for Billy Slugger if she could have beat her with it. And she might be setting her up for it again. One more time. Gets her up on her shoulders. And drops her down into the power bomb and the cover. No rope break now. One, two, three. Billy Slugger picking up the big win. Her second big win here on SmackDown. She's got to be considered the odds on favorite as of right now. To win that fatal four-way at Fastlane. This has to be an infuriating loss for Alexa Bliss. No, I expected this to be good stuff. Match, but Alexa just get the edge. A dull match. I thought it was a good match, but it's because it's baby first, baby face versus baby face, and they're not feuding. I get it, but the match was actually not bad. All right, new feud between Baron Corbin and Bray Wyatt. I mean, it's been going on for a bit, but the game recognizes that as starting now, so I get it. Uh, Sheamus and Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate beat Kit Wilson last week. Kit Wilson is 2-0 against the current WWE champion. Tyler Bate beat that man, Kit Wilson, last week. Can he continue his winning ways against the debuting Sheamus? And Sheamus picks up the win after beating... Um, he beat Jey Uso two weeks ago, did Sheamus. He keeps his own winning ways alive by beating Tyler Bate here tonight. Jey Uso calling out Roman Reigns ahead of their matchup. Becky Lynch and Bailey renewing a rivalry here tonight. One, two, Let's see who goes three, over. Becky Lynch picking up the win after Gigi Dolan provides an assist. I don't think Becky Lynch knew about it, although we are kind of having a heel turn between those two. Uh, rivalry grows between Bailey and Gigi Dolan. Good stuff. Rivalry grows between Sami Zayn and Batista. And then we get to our main event, Batista and Braun Breaker, which sounds like a fucking Mania main event if Batista's in his prime here. One, two, we're doing this on SmackDown. Braun Breaker goes over. Big win for Braun Breaker, but is he even on? I mean, it would have made more sense if Batista was on the show. He is, uh, or if Braun Breaker, he is on the show. Both these guys are on the show. I don't know what I'm saying. Braun Breaker's facing CM Punk. Um, do we say that Braun Breaker won by uh, pinfall? I mean, I guess. Well, no, we'll say CM Punk got involved. We'll, we'll give it a DQ in for Braun Breaker because Batista should not be losing his first match on SmackDown by fucking pinfall before he challenges for the WWE Championship this weekend. That would be stupid. J.D. McDonough and Braun Breaker. Or uh, Braun Strowman, interesting. Kofi and Gunther, not bad. So we'll make that a DQ in for Braun Breaker. We did not have a good show. Not at all. We did make another $100,000, though. So we're making big bank right now on SmackDown. That's good to see. Which we're going to need when we have to re-sign all of our current ongoing free agents and whatnot. 
But yeah, we could say CM Punk got involved, attacked Braun Breaker before their match. Coming up this weekend, that makes sense. Oh, a lot of messages. Billy says, hey, my contract at SmackDown is up at the end of the week. I'd be interested in staying for another five weeks, and my cost would be fifty or $35,000. Of course. Um... So if I say, if I offer her 60 to stay with SmackDown till the end of the season, would I be saving money on that? I think, but what, $5,000? We'll just, we'll just keep her for five weeks because we don't know what we're going to do with her beyond the five weeks. So we'll keep her for now at that price. Small increase to Billy Slugger's morale. Deegan says, it's been too long, but I'm back. Thanks for the opportunity. The movie was getting some serious buzz during test screenings. This is great for my career. Great to have you back. We need you here. Let's get back to work. All right, Tegan Knox is back, baby, and she wants her shot of the championship after she beat Becky Lynch twice. Tyler Bates says, things are not working out for me at SmackDown. I'm ready to tear up my contract and move on. I mean, especially after you would not give me that tag match with Dragunov. The only way you can convince me to stay is with a $100,000 bonus. Forget it. That, fuck that shit. Figured as much. Goodbye, then. I'll return the outstanding value of my contract to SmackDown. I don't care. All right. Tyler Bate quit. See you, pal. Gigi says, hey, William, I've seen the work I've been putting in. You've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I could do more for the brand. I'm ready to run a main event match, and I know the fans will be excited for it. That would mean a lot to me in my career. What do you say? I mean, not this week. Does she want it this week? Because that's not going to fucking happen. Uh, no. That's really disappointing. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't care. I just don't want it to be this week. I, I would say yes, because maybe we would do it next week on SmackDown. But I feel like it's going to be this week, and then I'll not do it, and then she'll be pissed. Whatever. All right, so let's book this show. It's going to be Sami Zayn defending the WWE Championship against Batista. We'll do Jey Uso and Roman Reigns in this spot. And we'll do for the Intercontinental Championship. Bray Wyatt is back and defending against Baron Corbin. We've not seen him since he beat Braun Breaker to retain the title, so we'll see what kind of shape Bray Wyatt is in tonight. Uh, we'll do CM Punk and Braun Breaker here. Looking forward to watching that one. And this will be the Fatal 4-Way match, not a tables match. No real reason for be it for it to be a 4-Way. Uh, Although, you know what? We'll make it false count anywhere because that way it might increase the chances of the match not going fucking 30,000 minutes. So let's do false count anywhere with uh, Bailey. It's going to be Alexa Bliss, Billy Slugger, and Becky Lynch. A lot of Bs, a lot of Bs. All right, winner of that match will earn the next opportunity at the Women's Championship. Gigi's going to call out Bailey. We're going to have Kit Wilson call out Sheamus. Is Tyler already gone from SmackDown? He is. He just up and quit. <laughs> we'll see if Kit Wilson can do what Sheamus could not, do what Tyler Bate could not, and um, beat Sheamus. We'll find out next week. Let's see. We will do self-promo. I think Bianca's back tonight. Is she not? She is. As is Tegan Knox. All right, let's do promo. Her popularity is up a lot more from what it was. That's great to see, so. Um, fix match, we could use this, so I'm gonna buy that. Definitely use that for a later day. Um, backstage brawler, power of the punch. Select an opposing brand, all superstars on their roster. Lose five popularity at the start of next week. Um, yeah, I mean, we could we could do that. I think Raw's doing better, right? Is Raw not doing better? Raw is doing better. Um, yeah, we'll just use it. 
cool. Um, I think that's it, though. We won't really have, like, an extreme pay-per-view next week. No stipulation matches aside from this opener, the Falls Count Anywhere Fatal 4-Way number one contenders match. But I think it should still be a pretty good show, and we set up uh, what should be a compelling Fallout Smackdown for the following week. Kit Wilson taking on Sheamus, Bailey probably battling Gigi Dolan, depending on the outcome of this matchup. Um, and yeah, and more matches to come. Tegan Knox is back, Bianca Belair is back. We'll see what else happens here on SmackDown, on SmackDown's Fastlane pay-per-view, that is. Intercontinental Championship will be defended. The WWE Championship will also be defended. No women's title defense tonight, but that's totally okay. So I'm looking forward to this pay-per-view. This will be coming up next week, or on the next episode, rather. Fatal 4-Way number 1 Contenders match, CM Punk versus Braun Breaker. Kit Wilson calling out Sheamus. Gigi Dolan calling out Bailey. Promos from Tegan Knox. Bianca Belair, Bray Wyatt defends the Intercontinental Championship against Baron Corbin. Jey Uso takes on Roman Reigns. And Sami Zayn defends his WWE Championship against Batista. So looking forward to the show. Thank you guys, as always, for checking out hashtag GSM4GM. Have a great one, folks. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm Graham GSM Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.